Hi everyone, in the last video I showed you how to use Microsoft Loop. In this video I'll focus on Microsoft Loop for mobile. Let's get started. Here I am on my Android device. Let's stop on the Play Store so I can show you where you can install Microsoft Loop. Type in the search Microsoft Loop and as a result you will have this app in preview. I already installed this app, then I'm going to tap on the button Open. Now Microsoft Loops open and you have to provide your credential. And once you have done that, the first feature available is Recents. As you can see on top, there, there are Recents and Workspaces as options. In the first one, you can see the last changes that you made in Microsoft Loop. Now let me tap on one page, meeting notes, for example. This opens my page and here I have all content that I added in the web version of Microsoft Loop. So I can see even a comment coming from Adele Events. If I tap on this comment, I can reply directly from here to Adele Events. I can say, for example, cool. All right, now I added my comment at below just below Adele comments. Now, what I can do here, I can also react to some content here. So I can tap on uh, this text and then here in the command bar that I have, I can tap on these bubbles and here I can add my reaction to this specific content. I can mention someone else. This is just as it works the web version of Microsoft Loop. I added now Adele Events, I mentioned Adele Events in this text field. So let's move forward. I am in the body and here I can add several content, a budget list, a checklist, a link, or if I tap on the plus button, I have all components available in the web version of Microsoft Loop. I have the divider, the image, checklist, bullet list, the ability to mention people, the date picker, a table, voting table. I can add every content even in the mobile version of Microsoft Loop. Now, let me switch on workspaces. Maybe this is the most important feature here because if you are working and dealing with many workspaces, it makes totally sense here. Have a list or a summary of all your workspaces. Then you can tap on one workspace, you can get in and you have here the structure of all pages inside the workspace. Now let me go back here and let me show you the other capability that you have. I am, we have seen home here. Now let me tap on page here. I can add another page. I can type, for example, loop for mobile, then let's hit the button OK. Here I can start to fill in the content in this page. Let me go back and I can even set notification. I have all my notification here. If someone mentioned me or if someone share a content with me, this is the area where will appear the notification. So if you want to add a specific page to a workspace, you can open an existing workspace. Here, for example, I am in Project Drone X and here I can add additional page. I can also share the content with my colleagues easily. But the best way that you have to add new pages is just tapping on the New Page tab. All right, we have seen Microsoft Loop for mobile. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe, like, and put a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about this video. I hope to see you next time. Bye.